Hello everyone and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'm going to be playing Construct Embers of Life, which is meant to be a short sci-fi horror experience that lasts about 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how you play it and how much detail you want to go into. So this is probably just going to be a single video thing. Also, it's absolutely free to download and play. You can find it on Steam. I'll put the link down below in the description. Hope you enjoy it. Let's start a new game. All right. Oh, the screen will freeze for a few seconds. This is normal, all right, <laughs> if you say so. And some freezing during gameplay as well, while zones load. All right, thanks for the warning. So my computer hasn't crashed. <laughs> Let's hope not. Right, okay. <laughs> Even after getting that warning, I still wasn't exactly sure. Is that docking complete? Release front hatch. Alright. Okay, we're in control. Sort of. Okay, I can look up and down. Right. Objects you can interact with will have a green circle when you approach them, I guess. Like that? Right. Scan the atmosphere. Let's do that. Is that a light or is that a sun? A star? Alright. That's all breathable. Unknown toxin? It's never good. On lethal, eh? Well, I guess we'll see about that. Continue? Um, <laughs> I don't see any other buttons, so I guess I've got to. That's releasing, okay. This is all on the Unity engine, by the way. Down the ladder? Yeah. So what I'm wondering is, like, how many sort of, um... How many stock things are we going to see? Detected. Activating external illumination. Cool. All oh, right. Oh, brilliant! I got full control now. So let's see. What can we do? We can we can jump. We can run around. Is there a crouch? There is a crouch. Okay. And we have our own flashlight controls. That's always good. I can't see a damn thing. <laughs> right. What have we got over here? I can't. Now, I can't read that because there's nothing to read, but I guess I can use it? Right. Ah, for the door, was it? Brilliant. I take it that's the only way to go. I can't see any other routes. That's where we came from, so... Yep, okay, through the door we go. Wherever it is, over here. Bloody hell, it's so dark. Alright, that must have been the, uh, the sort of loading lag I was warned about. Where are we going then? Oh, it's an elevator, is it? Oh, no, no, the door's just going up, right? I <laughs> wasn't sure then. Alright. What? We put this damn pipe here. Over we go. Security checkpoint. Launch bay A operations center. And uh, a table. Um, <laughs> security checkpoint, I suppose. Ah, over here. Yes, no. Launch observation administer. Okay, over here then I take it. Let's try this one. Yep, that works. Right. Bloody hell. It's like it's like Doom 3 or something. It's incredibly dark. Alright. Duck that. There you go. It's just a nice way to learn the controls, I suppose. Alright. Yep, yeah, okay. I'm glad they included the warning, because otherwise I might actually think there's a bit of a problem with my system. <laughs> Is that a guy there? I think it is. Oh. Oh. That doesn't sound too good to me. Is that a reflection of this room? I can't, yeah, I can't see anything through it, unfortunately. Right. Okay, four things to interact with, it looks like. Let's start with this locker, I suppose. Right, what do we got? What's that down there? TRP girls? Okay. Looks like a dirty anime magazine. That's pretty much it. Uh, Tesla power? Will it change society? Or be its downfall. 2000 and something, I guess, this is set in. Must have been important enough for someone to keep. Hmm. Okay, anything else? I guess not. What do we got here? Another light, alright, this. Sergeant Taylor, right, the supply department. Uh, okay. They wanted three new ships, class A, single. Loads of uh, 10 mil black tubing and loads of rocket propellant as well in launch bay A. And what's this? 
Oh, oh, this is Sergeant Taylor. What happened to you, mate? Was this something to do with this apparently non-lethal toxin? It's blood, right? Ooh, it's never good, is it? Right. Launch control console. Oh. Oh, insert the card. I guess that's what I just got. Hostile entities. That doesn't sound good. This is pretty in-depth, actually. This is uh, not exactly what I was expecting. Let's see. One, two, three, four, and five to control this. Let's start with the launch options, I suppose. Ship one, offline. Two is invalid, and so is three. I suppose one is the one I, I just got off. Requires refuel and insufficient power. All right. Launch data. Let's do that. John O'Dale is alive. Margaret Thatcher is dead. Yep, that's uh, that's that's still the case. Dan Henderson also dead. All right, that's ships two and three. Am I John O'Dale then? I guess so. Hopefully, I don't have to remember that serial number. Uh, let's go over to security. Ah, right. Oh, I guess I can't play with that first one. But uh, entry lock. Yep, unlocked. Fantastic. And what else have we got? Command link? Inbox? Right. Sergeant Taylor. Thank you for your quick response time. Sergeant Thatcher's feelings for his wife got in the way of his job. Dr. Thatcher's launches tomorrow morning. I need you to double check those engines and make sure Dr. Thatcher has enough fuel and rations to make her journey. If she doesn't find Dr. O'Dale, which she probably won't, I have another pilot already lined up for the task of finding the material. We don't have any time to waste here. Right. Oh, you see. Yep, yeah, okay. Um, anything in the trash? Yeah, looks like another one. Just going to read through this briefly. If you want to do that yourselves, just pause the video. What are the odds he's still alive? Hmm. I've been gone for some time then, I guess. All right, let's, let's head back. Um, uh, the orientation play video? Yeah, sure, why not? Welcome to the Tesla program facility, a government-funded corporation for the advancement and distribution of Tesla energy technology. Okay. Whether you are a citizen of the facility or an employee or both, you have probably witnessed by now the tremendous effect we've had on society in general. The most well-known creation of the TRP is our wireless energy hub, which has been placed in almost every household in the United States as well as the United Kingdom. Hmm. The hub along with our upgraded appliances, have made standard plugs and wires completely obsolete. Good. We are the single largest energy and technology facility on the planet. Roughly 100 football stadiums could fit inside our building. As you well know, within our structure, we have complete living facility for employees and families. Schools, grocery stores, restaurants, farms, and even parks. We are happy to have you here whatever your role might be in our community. We appreciate you choosing us. Enjoy, and have a wonderful day. You too. Thank you very much. I enjoyed that. Okay, well, there you go. There's a little bit of a backstory to this facility. Um, right, so, so that's that. I guess I don't have the card anymore because I just slotted it in there. Right, the security door. Whoa! Shh. What the hell is going on? R really? Oh shit, let's go down. Go, 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 go. Down. Ah. This way. Yes, go on. Uh, where's the button? There? No. Was there something through there? Nerve gas? Wow. Right. Nope. Okay. <laughs> oh, that is me. Okay, brilliant. Okay. Ah. Yeah, that's much better. Me? I'm Dr. O'Dale. That's your voice? Okay. Uh, yes, I, I hear you. Hmm. Dr. O'Dale, your ID seems to have been expired. You will be unable to access any locations with the exception of your home. Please return to your residence for a registry update from your personal console. Uh, I, I... I don't know where I live. That's okay, it's Dr. Never good. Dale. 
Once this door opens, travel straight along the corridor until you reach the Borway Junction. Okay. Continue into Housing District A1. Your residence is H5. A1, H5. I don't know, Dr. Odell. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Alright, A1, H5. I can probably do that. What? What? Hang on. There we go. Yeah, what, what was that I was looking at down there? This is to do with the uh, the wireless power then, is it? Tesla core, B16 and 17. Alright, so there's many cores up here, it looks like. Right. Oh dear. <laughs> so far, so good. I think this is a little bit more impressive than what I was anticipating. Let's move that sort of <laughs> microwave door out of the way and crawl through, I suppose. Right. So there are hostile entities somewhere around here. I do see bloodstains every now and then. I thought I might find you here. What? Hey, Richard. Yeah. I'm what happened? Pretty predictable, aren't I? In some ways, yes, my friend. You are always here before your lunch. How many will this be now? Fifteen. Uh, no, sixteen now. Yet, I, I still get so nervous, and here I am, staring down at my accomplishments. Something about seeing those generators working, knowing they're powering half the planet, it makes me feel like I've changed the world. How many people can say that? Well, quite a few, John. But to the magnitude that you have, not many. I just wish it could have worked out better, you know? I wish I could have known about the toxin. Oh. I'm worried it'll be too late. No one. I had something to do with it. The future. You're going to be late, my friend. You need to get suited up and ready for lunch. Shit. Thanks, Richard. For everything. Well, that was really weird. We're getting flashbacks now, right? So, I, yeah, I don't know too much about the story, but I, I'm an amnesiac, I guess. Your heart rate has raised above your normal amount. <laughs> Medical assistance. Uh, wouldn't mind it, to be honest. Can we get through? Oh, we have a choice? Really? Oh, that's nice. Uh, yes, please. Yes. Something is wrong with me. Hmm. I can't remember who I am. I think I just blacked out, or had some sort of flashback? Something like that. All of those things are possible, Dr. O'Dale. I am locating the nearest medical unit for you now. It appears all medical units are offline at this current time. <laughs> of course. Please check back soon. Uh, I don't know if there will be a soon. I don't know if I'll live that long, to be honest. Ah, oh, right, now we can use it. There we go. Oop. Yeah, aside from the, uh, you know, occasional lag with the loading, this is actually alright. Alright, and we got this sort of... <laughs> the Arboretum area. Of course, I've been playing Prey recently. And damn, that's a good game. What, what the fuck was that? Did... What? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm spinning around when I'm loading sometimes. Right. Oh, here we go. Housing District A1. Yep, that's where I want to go. Uh, does that even work? Computer, the door? are you there? Whoa! Yes, Dr. O'Dell. I am here. What happened to Master Chief? My name is Jane, not Computer. Uh, Jane, there's a body here in Section A Junction. Also, there was another body in Launch Bay A. What is going on in this place? You will have to be more specific. What would you like to know? Many, many things. Well, the top two, certainly. Um, is anyone left besides me? Shall I ask that instead? Now, nah, what happened to this person? What happened to this person? They're ripped in half. This appears to be Tom Fillmore, Section A Security Officer. Right. He died from blood loss. But how did <laughs> it happen? What could cut a person in half like this? It is unclear to me at this time. I can play the last 15 seconds of Sergeant Fillmore's audio feed from Data Storage Bank, if you like. If you wouldn't mind. Yeah, play it, why not? Yes, Gene. Play the audio. Commander, I'm rolling up one baby. There's too many of them in there. Shit, they're coming from all over. Walk down section A. I repeat, walk down. Jesus. It's hell in here. It's not hell, Doctor. It's the TRT facility. Yes, I know. 
I like that actually. The, the AI is kind of cool. I like the voice, and it's, it's an AI with a bit of an attitude as well. H5, right? That's that's my my home over here. Last one on the left. Whoa. Okay. Can we can we just go in, please? Get, there, there we go. Yep. Okay. Brilliant. Whoa. What was that? Did I just fall down, or did the door go up? <laughs> with all this lag, I can't really tell sometimes. All right. That's me, is it? Okay. And uh, with the voice, I'd have thought I'd be a little bit younger than that. John, please, can you just eat dinner with us? Thea and I both feel like your work is more important to you than your family. I don't think you understand, Claire. If I don't figure out how to reverse the effects of the Tesla waves, there is no future for us. We're all going to mutate. Is that what you want? Daddy, please stop. You're scaring me. Well, maybe <laughs> you need to be scared, Thea. We all should be scared. The entire facility has less than a year left, and that's it. We're all gone. John, don't talk to her like that. She's just a child. What's wrong with you? What is wrong with me is we're all going to die. And it's my fault, Claire. It's all my fault. If I had properly tested everything, there might still be a livable world out there for us. I remember them. I can see their faces in my mind. Thea. Claire. What happened to you? I have to find them. To find them. Okay. We've got the rest of our home back now, have we? Right, yeah, that was all cut off from the left and the right. That was kind of bizarre. Okay, a few doors to go through. <laughs> I've got to admit, the, the decor, the furniture, is a little bit strange. I mean, this is all very metallic and everything, very, very sci fi, and then we get this rather basic wooden table and chairs and everything. It's, it's a bit of a bit of a contrast, isn't it? This way? Let's see if they're in here, I guess. All right. Bedroom? The kids' room? I'm gonna go to sleep, Bub. You're gonna be so tired in the morning. Is mommy asleep? Yes, and I'm gonna be going to sleep right now, too. I'm really scared. What if I can't fall asleep? You will fall asleep, I promise. You do every night. Just don't worry about it. What if I don't, though? Bub, the worst thing that could happen is you're up late and you're a little tired. It's not the end of the world. You'll be okay, I promise. Sweet dreams, Pumpkin. I love you. I love you too, Daddy. Okay. Thea. Oh my god. I miss you, my darling. How could I forget about you? You and your mother were the only good things in my life. I'm gonna find you, I, I promise. Hmm. Dead or alive. Most likely dead. Let's see, what have we got here? Can I have a look at that? It's a little drawing. Uh, unfortunately, I can't like zoom in or pick it up or anything. Right. It's kind of strange when you're in the sort of flashback mode. Everything's got a strange hue to it. The strange textures as well. Just wanted to make sure there was nothing here. And look at me looking down another fucking toilet bowl. I just can't help myself. Yeah, okay. So that's that. Uh, I suppose we should probably go across the way to, I don't know, another bedroom? What's it going to be? What is this? I see a can. Is this a is this a kitchen? How do you want your potatoes cooked tonight? I don't care, Claire. I'm so sick of eating the same food every day. You got two ovens. The worst part is, I helped select what was going to be grown. You couldn't have known that what you selected would be all that we would have. Stop it, Claire. Stop trying to make me feel better. You're always trying to be positive. Don't you ever feel upset? Fine, John. You want to be angry? Be angry. I don't care anymore. Make your own dinner. I'm going out. <laughs> Don't you fucking leave. Try and stop me, John. If you want to leave so badly, go. And don't come back either. <laughs> Wasn't a very good person. Was I, Jane? It's not in my programming Whoa. to evaluate such things. What the fuck? Getting a bit of uh, feedback and interference there, Jane. Alright, anyway, uh, back to the real world. Not a flashback anymore. So, okay, let me just get this straight. I created this revolutionary new technology, these Tesla cores that are able to harvest energy and wirelessly send it back to Earth, which I guess is, you know, not too far away. Uh, very specifically to the US and the UK at the moment, it seems. But unfortunately, in doing that, I released some sort of toxin, and I think this toxin may be causing these ill effects, these, well, the blood, the, <laughs> the mutation, I think, was mentioned, right? Hmm. Okay. A facade, of course. A nice mountain range. Where's that meant to be? No idea. 
Oh, there's another level. Oh, I... Oh. Oh, I see the stairs, are they? How do we get them down? Oh, I see it. Oh, ladder. Oh. Oh, for some reason I thought they were going to be, like, loft stairs. You know, like, you have to pull them down. Alright, what's up here, then? Apart from, you know, a, a sunset. Couple of rooms. Let's try this one. Okay. Claire, I'm, I'm sorry about earlier. I'm under so much stress right now. It's okay. I understand that you are. But it's no reason to treat me like shit or to scare Bub. I'm not angry at you guys. I'm angry with myself that I would let this happen. If people knew I was responsible for all this, I would be killed. It was an accident, baby. There's no way you could have known how microorganisms would respond to the energy currents. <laughs> if I hadn't rushed into this, perhaps I could have known. In any case, Claire, I think I might have a solution. One that could possibly reverse the effects of the Tesla current has caused on this planet. That's excellent! You figured it out? Maybe. It's too soon to tell. I can't tell you exactly what I'm doing, because it's all classified. But I can tell you that it will require me to go off-planet again. I see. Oh, damn it, John. You promised me no more launches. I'm sorry. But if I have a chance to save mankind, I'm gonna do it. I have to make things right. Just be safe, okay? I always worry something's going to happen. I've done this plenty of times, Claire. I'll be fine. Trust me. But... It wasn't fine. Was it, Jane? Evidently not. What do you mean, Dr. O'Dell? Something happened while I was gone. Everyone has disappeared. And it's my fault. Isn't it, Jane? Well, I don't want to point the finger, but yes. quite high, sir. I am detecting heat signatures huh. in many sectors of the facility. And I cannot tell you whether or not this is your fault, as I have no knowledge of what you have done. Can you find my wife and daughter? Will you tell me where they are? Yeah, are they still around? Claire and Thea's retina ID scans have expired. I cannot currently locate them. Right. Fuck. I guess I'm on my own then. Certainly looks like it, doesn't it? Right. So, it sounds like I kind of rushed off to, you know, get a solution to the problem that I caused by rushing off. Um, and yeah, I'm back now, and <laughs> I'm okay, but... They aren't. What have we got over here? Couldn't interact with this when it was back in the flashback, but... Right, here we go. A home messaging system? Can we have a look at that? Oh, John, help. I guess this is the message. John, something went wrong with the air filtration system. Richard is taking Thea and I to the cryolab A. He says the only chance of us surviving is to be put in suspended sleep until a safer time. If you're still alive, John, if you ever make it back, that is where you'll find us. We love you. Claire, Thea, we only have minutes left. We have to leave. Now. And off they went, hopefully. And nothing bad happened to them. He's hoping. Okay, notice board. Anything on the notice board? <laughs> it's either I can't see it or I can't see it. Nothing on the desk, I take it. I think there was another room, though, wasn't there? Over to the right? Yeah, we got another one. Uh, small one. Okay. And a computer console. Let's take a look at it, I suppose. Begin scan. Continue home scan. Scanning operation will also check for suit updates. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Retina scan, right. Please exit the computer console and lay down on the scanning table face up. I can do that. So you can scan my retinas. Not my retinas, but retinas. Yeah, I'm, I'm somewhat impressed with this game. I mean, it's, it's not a brilliant quality, but I can feel like there's a heart and soul to it. And some loud audio occasionally. Right. 405? Ooh! Another version. Bloody hell. Night vision. Wireless robotic control. Print your physical ID. Oh, yeah, I need to do that. Okay, so let's do that. Hmm, alright. I wonder if this game's gonna have a happy ending. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Okay, print ID. Finished. Pick up your finished ID to the left of the computer console. Alright. Oh, is that it? Yep, just like Sergeant Taylor's. Um, okay, John O'Dale. I've got it. Now then. What do I do with it? Shall I... I guess I have to go back to where the body... Where the body was? Oh, let's just fall down. <laughs> there you go. It's as easy as that. I'm not missing anything, am I? Didn't miss, like, a, another ensuite or anything. 
We've got like outside bins here. A lot of this does seem to be like stock stuff crammed into one game. It, it, stylistically, it makes little sense. But this is all right. Right, can we actually go any further? I mean, I probably don't want to. Was that there before? Was that there before? I don't know. Can we go into H4? Can we go to my neighbor's homes? N That's not me. What the hell is going on with my flashlight? Right, let's go, let's go. Alright. It's a Voltaic Phantom. Jeez! Alright, that was fucking hostile. Can you open the door, please? Jane, can you open the door? Uh, I don't think she's there. EMP pulse. Where the hell are you? The flashlight just doesn't work. What the fuck is this? Now we're getting the title! Holy shit! Oh wait, no, is this the end? Can't be the end. What in the fuck? Oh, this is getting really, really strange. This is now like a life form or something? Wow. What happened to the door? I don't think I really fancy that, actually. If I could just get my wife and child and leave, that'd be great. What was that place, Jane? What, was I hallucinating, or was that some sort of other dimension? Something was definitely talking to me. It was transmitting through my suit radio. Is this the toxin in my body? Possibly. Jane? Jane. She's... She's gone. That's a shame. It's just me. I need to keep moving. I need to find Cryolipe. Right, and that should be this way, I think. So, can we use this, or can we open this door, or... Am I on the right side? H2... Alright. Okay, I guess the AMP's worn off. Uh, we might get Jane back, I guess. Ah, uh, no. Loading again, of course. Oh, go on. Wait. Where am I looking? Where the fuck? Bloody hell. Alright. Section A lobby. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. What do we got? There's a... There's a video. Finish buffering and... Uh... Sure! Dr. O'Dale, report date 4 27 29. This is for my ship, is it? I'm approaching the target asteroid. Mission 16, a right. Planet named Helios 7, just outside our solar system within the Milky Way galaxy. Cabin pressure is normal. All systems are green. Again, I can't look left and right, just up and down. The asteroid should be coming into view in just a minute here. I'm switching from ship cam 1 to ship cam 2. Rotation looks stable. Not sure what equipment I'll need to extract the material from the asteroid. Definitely hoping it's not another needle in a haystack this time. I, I can't go home empty-handed. Any second now, we should hopefully have a clear view. I see of... something. Oh huh. my god! What? It. It's the Nostromo. It's some kind of ship. Not one of ours. No, no, no. This is much too big. Huh. It's not like anything I've ever seen. This is incredible. It's simply incredible. This is the source of the material signal. I, I never thought. Focus. Okay, I, I'm moving closer to the ship. I will attempt communication. 
and then locate a suitable place to attach the magnetic locking system. Alright. That's it? That's the end of the video? Right, I guess so. What have we got here? Can we not mess with this? No? What are we doing? Through here then. Section A lobby. No? Where's the little scanner? Uh, I don't know. I take it we have to use this? There's a toxin rating. Apparently it looks like it's pretty damn high. It's lethal, in fact. Is that for in there? Oh. Oh, I see a little robot. Didn't I have, like, some suit upgrade for a robot? Uh... Uh, hmm. Unless there's some sort of, like, vent or something in the corners I can barely see. We can't go back? Is that a button? I think that's just the light, to be honest. So we can't go back. We can't go forward. And by the looks of it, we can't use this, even though it looks like I should be able to press a key there. We're just not getting the right view. Uh... I guess... Is this a bug? I, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Let's try... Restarting the level, possibly? I'd rather not. Well, let's give it a go. Oh no, not the entire fucking game. What's going on? Oh man. I think this is meant to be, you know, finished and everything. I don't think that was where it ends. Right, okay, I'll, I'll go through it again, uh, and hopefully we don't suffer the same fate. Right, so here we are again, uh, for the fourth time. I've gone through the game four times in total now, going through every event I did before, and ending up here. I, I still can't seem to use this screen, I can't seem to use this, uh, this lobby door, I can't go back on myself. I don't think there's anything else to do. Definitely can't take control of the robot, which I think I'm probably meant to do at some point. But, um... Yeah, I, I think this is where I'm going to end it, frankly, because I, I don't really want to try this for a fifth time. I think the game is meant to be complete. I, I think I'm just encountering a, a game-breaking bug for whatever reason, so yeah, hopefully that gets patched out. But um, I kind of like what I played so far. It's a shame we can't really get a conclusive ending to the game or anything. We can't get a, a conclusion to the story, but... Um, yeah, I, I could feel that there's a there's a heart and soul to this game. It's a little bit ropey in places. The voice acting isn't always great. I like Jane's voice, though. That was pretty good with um, like modulation. That was pretty nice. Um, yeah, so, yeah, sorry I couldn't complete the game for you, but uh, maybe I'll come back to it. I'm not sure. Either way, hope you enjoyed what you saw, and I hope to see you back in another video very soon. Um... I don't see any other buttons, so I guess I've got to. John O'Dale is alive. Margaret Thatcher is dead. Yep. I guess I don't have the card anymore because I just slotted it in there. Right, the security door. Whoa! Shh. H5, right? That's that's my my home. Over here, last one on the left. Whoa. It's not a brilliant quality, but I can feel like there's a heart and soul to it. And some loud audio occasionally. It's a voltaic phantom. Jeez! Alright, that was fucking hostile. Oh no, not the entire fucking game.